talk on the phone Don't need no friends, I'm good on my own Started from the bottom, want that to be known Been through a lot, and I'm grown Bad to the bone, getting in my zone Sitting on my throne Do you ever wonder why girls date older guys? I have When I was in high school I just started high school in grade 9 All the girls wanted to go for guys who were seniors in grade 12. I thought that was interesting. Fast forward, I get to grade 12. All the girls wanted to go for guys who were in college, university. Thought that was interesting. Now, I'm 23 years old. I find it interesting that girls my age, they seem to, you know, want to go for guys in their late 20s, even early 30s. I'm starting to see a trend here, you know? Seems to be a trend that girls, they wanna go for guys that are older. So when I was a freshman in high school, right? You know, girls, they're freshmen as well. They were attracted to older guys, seniors, because these seniors, first of all, they're probably driving at that point. They had access to parties, and, uh, you know, they were just known throughout the school. They had more clout. They knew their way around the school. So they just had uh, a better reputation overall, right? They knew more things. So girls were attracted to these guys. Then when I got to, you know, my senior years, the girls were interested in guys from college because at that point they could buy alcohol, they could go to clubs, they probably had their own cars by then. They had accumulated more stuff. You know, so they were more appealing to women. Now I'm in my early 20s, right? Now girls my age, guess what? They want to date guys in their late 20s, early 30s. You know, my ex-girlfriends, I have a couple of them. I know some of them are dating guys in the 30s, and they're my age, 23 years old, some of them even younger. So this is a real thing. I've seen a first-hand experience, you know? And it's for the exact same reason. You know, I'm 23. A lot of guys my age right now, they're just out of school. They're just trying to, you know, start making a name for themselves and accumulating assets such as, you know, Maybe buy a house, a condo, a car, but it's slow. We're just starting the journey now. Guys who are in their late 20s, early 30s, they've had years to accumulate this status, right? So they're more attractive to females. Girls want them. You know what I'm saying? If I was a girl, 23 years old, in the prime of my sexual marketplace, why would I want to be with a guy who lives with his mom and dad when I can be with a guy who has his own condo? Why would I be with a guy who's taking the bus when I can be with a guy who has his own Mercedes? You know what I'm saying? You really gotta think and put yourself in the other person's shoes. You know what I'm saying? It's the game. You gotta you gotta just learn how to play the game. You can be mad at it, sure. You can be bitter. It's not gonna help you at all, bro. It's not gonna help you at all. You know what I'm saying? You gotta just learn the game and use it to your own advantage and just realize that. It is what it is, bro. It's the game. You can be mad at it. You can pout, cry. It's not gonna change the facts, bro. I know a lot of people, they, uh, they get mad at the facts of game, you know what I'm saying? They get mad at it. You know, this is just one example of girls wanting guys with assets. But bro, it is what it is, bro. A woman's value is majority based on her looks. And this goes back to, to caveman days, bro. Ancestor days. A girl who looks healthy and beautiful, that probably means she's vibrant, she's young, she's able to bear children, survive childbirth, and raise that child. But guys, their value is not really based on their looks, it's based on what can they provide. Because if a girl has a child with a guy, right, she wants to know that he's able to provide. Provide a house, provide food, you know what I'm saying? Provide heat, electricity, all this stuff, right? That's why it is. That's why you can't get mad at it. Because everything, no matter how advanced we get in society, everything goes back to our roots. Attractive young women are attracted to this day because they're able to have children. They're able to have children and uh, raise healthy children and be able to, to survive the childbirth and, and, you know, just be a good mother. And at the same time, women want a guy who can provide a house. A roof over their head. Food when it's time to eat. 
no matter how advanced and civilized you get in society, everything comes back to our roots. We'll never escape our roots, bro. That's why it's good to study history. Because everything we do now, no matter how much society and technology has changes, everything comes back to our roots. So, you know, don't get mad at it. There's, there's biological reasons. And that's why, men, you got to get your money up. You got to get your money up. You got to get out of your parents' house. You got to get into your own spot. Because a woman won't take you seriously until you have your own stuff. You know, in your early 20s, you might not have a lot of stuff. That's why for the majority of people, women won't take you seriously. That's why in your early 20s, it's best to not even get involved and get that serious in relationships. It's better to just focus on yourself, stay on the grind, and, you know, build your assets. Build a life for yourself. Because then, once you have your own place, you have a car, you establish your own life then you can bring a woman into your life. But until you have your own place, your own car, et cetera, et cetera, you, you built a life for yourself. Until you have that, it's not even worth wasting time chasing women, bro. It's not, bro. Because you're not a, you're not a man yet. You're not. You know, I'm 23 years old. I don't have my own place yet. I don't have a lot of stuff that I want. And I look at myself and I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm on my path and one day I'm going to get there. But right now, I'm not a fool, man. Not at all. And that takes some balls to say that because a lot of guys, their ego gets too strong in the way. And they're like, bro, nah, bro, they should just love me for who I am, bro. It doesn't work that way, bro. It doesn't, bro. Life is not Disney movies, bro. Get your own stuff. Focus on the grind. Women will come, bro, but only in time. You know, stay on your grind. Because until you have your own stuff, a woman's not going to take you seriously, bro. She won't. I'm not saying you can't date. You should still date in your early 20s and stuff like that. But you should be uh, spending a lot of your energy and time into, you know, creating a stable life for yourself that you can bring a woman into. I'm saying don't waste time just chilling with chicks all the time, chasing tail. Bro, that doesn't get you anywhere, bro. You know, my dad would always tell me, chasing ass will just turn you into ass, bro. Doesn't get you anywhere, bro. So, you know, focus on yourself. Focus on the grind. The woman will come. But your purpose always comes first. Always comes before, you know, women and stuff. Always. As soon as you start making a girl a priority, bro, she doesn't respect you anymore. You should be one of the, you know, the major points of your life, but... Never make a woman your priority. Your purpose is always your priority. The grind, always. I'm saying you channel your masculine energy into something and you create and build something. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Hope you learned a thing or two. If you like it, give it a like, maybe comment, maybe subscribe. Until next video, I'm out. Thank you.